thanks for joining me today. I want to talk about reset your space. How often do you clear, bless, and reset your space at home? How often do you reset your space at work? And what do I mean by reset your space? Well, it's important to understand that all emotions, feelings, thoughts, conversations and actions that happen in a space stay in the space. And there are many external factors that can influence your space as well, not only the things within the space. A good example of external factors is now as a country in 2020, we've been dealing with COVID and there are emotions all over the scale. There's fear, there's doubt, there's anxiety, um, lots of things happening, lots of sadness, disconnection, um, not being able to hug and touch each other and see each other. Even those energies, the feelings that you have in those situations or what's happening impacts your space, impacts everything in there. Everything that you feel during the day, any frustration, any aggravation that you might have, any joy, any harmony, any happiness that you have, that's in your space as well. But how often do you cleanse it, clear it, reset your space? How often do you move the furniture around to shift the energy of the space? How often do you change out paintings in your space just to give it a new look? or move decor around. If you have an altar, how often do you just take everything off your altar and reset it with a different look? Do you have different altars throughout your house? How often do you move the sacred objects around in your home and reset things so that it looks different? How often do you go in and say, wow, I've had that kitchen, it's been blue for 10 years, maybe it's time to reset the space bring in new energy and new life. Think about what a coat of paint does to a space. It completely shifts the entire energy. Or you go in and you have new flooring put down, or you put a new painting up, or you bring in a new statue. And I'm not telling you to go out and shift and change, but what I'm saying is, is how often do we reset our space? How often do we come in and just move the furniture all around so it looks different? How often do you shift things around in the space just to give it a new look, a new feel, new chi, new movement in the space? Resetting your space can be huge. So what can you do today to reset your space? Can you move a piece of furniture around? Change the look of your living room? Can you bring in a diffuser and diffuse some oil in your space to change the energies? Can you switch out paintings in different places in your space so that you're kind of rotating through? Can you bring in a new beautiful piece? Can you change the color of the tablecloth? What can you do to reset your space? And are you cleansing and clearing your space on a regular basis? Are you really resetting the energies of your space? If you want to learn more about setting sacred space, we have a virtual training program on setting sacred space on our academy website. So if you go to www.discoveryourspiritualgifts.academy, you will see setting sacred space and our educational programs that you can take virtually from anywhere in the country. So check it out. And think about, how can you reset your space? Thank you for watching. My name is Violet Rain with Discover Your Spiritual Gifts. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you'll check out the rest of our videos on our YouTube channel. Discover Connection Awaken Sacredness Experience a difference at Discover Your Spiritual Gift.